Hi, today I'm going to show you how to put numbers into a Venn diagram and the example I'm going to be looking at today is doing a Venn diagram for square and even numbers okay and the numbers that we have in our set are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18 so we're going to put these numbers into the Venn diagram below so before we start then it's probably easier just to mark out your square numbers and your even numbers okay so let me just quickly do the even numbers first because they're much easier to do so 2 is an even number 4 is an even number 10 is an even number 16 is an even number and we've got 18 also an even number okay the square numbers are a little bit trickier to do so square numbers are the numbers which you get when you times number by itself so if we start off with 1 times 1 that is 1 so 1 is a square number next square number is 2 times 2 which is 4 so that's a square number the next square number is 3 times 3 which is 9 so 9 is also a square number the next one is 4 times 4 which is 16 16 is also a square so the next square number is 5 5 which is 25 so we don't have 25 in this set of numbers that we're doing today so let's now put these numbers into the Venn diagram so you usually start with the centre of the Venn diagram so the centre of the Venn diagram is for the numbers which are even and square so this will be the number 4, you can cross this one out uh, 16 is even and square so we have two numbers in the centre of the Venn diagram so let me do the square numbers then next so the other square numbers we can put in this square circle here so we've got 1 we've got 9 and I think that's it okay and the even numbers then will go here so we've got number 2 we've got number 10 and we've got the number 18 so we're then just left with the numbers which aren't square numbers and they're not even numbers so these numbers will go anywhere around the outside of the Venn diagram so we've got 3, 5, 11, 15 and the last one is 17. Thanks for watching.